Hey guys, Steve at Top Guns. Wanted to take a little bit of time and look at some of the different weapons that are available for concealed carry and uh, just share with you a lot of what we've seen people coming in and requesting, especially for those of you who are a little bit new to the industry. Um, starting off with the smallest, we find a lot of people will come in and they'll ask for something that they can put in their pocket uh, and something that's extremely concealable and doesn't go, it's not going to weight down their uh, pockets. And in that category, we find a lot of people moving towards the little mini revolvers. These particular units happen to be from North American Arms. Um, there are a couple companies out there that do offer them. Often they're offered in either 22 long rifle or 22 magnum. And uh, they do pack quite a large punch for the small package that they have. So certainly great options. Moving up from there, a lot of, uh, this is a, a very popular amongst females that come in where often we'll hear sometimes they don't want to uh, take the time to learn the mechanics of, of a semi-automatic. There are also guys that come in asking for the same. And a, an old uh, uh, reliable unit that we love to, to show is to just a standard J-frame. And often that will come in the way of uh, Smith & Wesson. There are a few other companies out there certainly that make J-frames as well. But uh, Smith & Wesson is a very popular choice. One of my favorites happens to be the Air Light, which is a little bit lighter than the Air Weight. And uh, certainly that one you could toss in your pocket and not have an issue with in the least. From there, uh, another popular choice amongst women this year, for those that are going to the range and they are taking the time to really uh, learn and, and familiarize themselves with the mechanics of a semi-automatic, would be the 380. And in the 380 category, uh, we often see people coming in asking for things such as a, a bodyguard made by Smith & Wesson or the Sig Sauer 380 is also a popular choice, which is the P238. Uh, Glock, I didn't put it down here, but the, the Glock 42 has also been a popular choice lately. Another popular choice uh, for people who have been in the industry perhaps a little bit longer and they're comfortable carrying uh, a mid-sized gun, but yet they want to keep it kind of small in size, is the slimline 9mm. The Smith & Wesson Shield has been a very popular one this year, and I, uh, I anticipate it will probably continue being a popular one for a while. Ruger, of course, puts out a Slimline 9, Car Arms, uh, Springfield Armory. There are a lot of others out there, but that's been a category for you, uh, for those of you that are looking to have something that has a little more firepower than some of the uh, smaller guns, but uh, certainly not the size of a, of a, a double stack. Last category that I'll share with you. Uh, this is a very, uh, very uh, popular size amongst guys and gals that have been in the industry. They don't mind uh, dressing the part so that they have the ability to conceal a gun that is a double stack. And um, you know, often when the people that are going with these are are folks that uh, either a sometimes they are either the just civilians that are well trained or b off duty officers, military, etc but they uh, need something that's not quite as big as a service pistol, but it is uh, the size that allows them to have a decent capacity and a decent amount of stopping ability with the round that they've chosen. So whether it be a 40 or a nine, and those are things such as your firearms, such as your Glock 19, Glock 23, your SR40, SRC, our uh, SR40, SR9C, and uh, several others in that category as well. Hey guys, thanks for taking the time to uh, hang out with us today and watch the video. If you're new to the industry, we hope this has been helpful. If you're not new to the industry, we're going to ask you to take just a minute, post down below and tell us a little bit about what you carry and why you carry it. That's going to help out those who are new and it's going to help them understand why you're carrying, the, why you've made the decision that you have and might help them uh, down the path to, to choosing their own weapon that's right for their needs. Uh, please comment down below, like and share our page. We appreciate it. Take care.